Welcome back to Maya. Um, I'm now using, I've upgraded, I'm using um, Maya 2010. I was using Maya 7 before. Um, it's quite a bit different. Most of the menus are in the same place, but there are a few differences. Um, but you should be able to find the same tools, and everything we've done so far up to date is exactly the same. So, and the modeling techniques I'm going to be doing um, are the same anyway. So it's all, um, it should all be okay for you to use. I mean, if you can't find a particular tool, then I've used Maya for for years. So if if you can't find a tool in Maya Maya Seven in particular, then uh, you know, drop me an email or put a comment, and I'll um, I'll tell you where it is. But um, you should better find most of them. If not, do a Google search and see what the differences are between two thousand ten and seven or eight or Maya Seven or eight. Okay, now we're going to continue with um, poly polygonal mod modeling now. Polygons. So if we select a sphere, drag on it, and now we right click over the object or on the object and click vertex. I'm going to bring up this one spacebar, remember. And I'm going to select some of the top and then I'm going to use the move tool to move it up. Move that up. Take the middle section, blow that out, bring it a bit in. Take the bottom section, move it down. It's the W key or over here. And with this one, I'm also going to straighten these. And so I've done a. What I've done there is I've. I'm scaling it down on itself and back on itself. So by doing that, it creates a flat surface. And if I move it down, it should be flat. If I blow this out, we've got a sort of pole there. If we look at this now, I go to shading, smooth shade all. Got quite a cool little little feature there, little model created, a few seconds. Um, that's just by grabbing these vertices and moving them around and create all sorts of good things. So that's vertices. Now I think that's all you need to know at this moment about this menu. We've used object which is the normal standard one. We've used faces which you use to extrude. Um, Put some little windows in there. Use my extrude tool. I do. So I'll just extrude these. Go to edit mesh, extrude, and just push those in. Sometimes easier you find actually going to the the other menu. So there you can see I've pushed those form little windows in there which I could give I could give little textures to going to rendering make a shade I'll make something so that you can see it. So you can see there little windows now in there. Just by pick, by picking those faces you can also colour those faces. Um, so I, I pick a another shader and I can colour those all these areas. Be careful though because you want to do this kind of at the end because you can eat you, you don't want to have to deselect things when you're picking your colours. Like if I select a new one all that all that information would disappear. So I'll leave that till the end. But have a play around with the vertices, selecting them, moving them in all the views um, and see how you get on. Like top view and move it out there. And in the next lesson, we're going to do a simple, a simple modeling, polygon modeling, IBM based model, image based model um, of 
a very very simple gun it's like a James Bond gun and we were working from an image that I've um, created really quickly um, there's no real no detail in it but we will be adding um, texture maps and I'll be showing you how to lay out the UVs using old school methods so then we'll be later on we'll be moving on to more advanced methods and advanced programs such as ZBrush and Mudbox um, okay I'll see you in the next lesson any questions by the way if um, you have with with your version of Maya compared to this please um, send me an email and I'll try and uh, try and answer them okay see you in the next lesson